I don't know who needs to be told this, but just keep your head above water. Your story is going to get so much better soon. Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week, Aquarius. Now, I also do your weekly uh, you versus them reading for your zodiac sign, Aquarius, for you and your person, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like to. Uh, but when it comes to any of my readings, Gem uh, Gemini, Aquarius, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, Aquarius, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And if you find some uh, cards that resonate with you, Aquarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card called out to you the most because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments. And then if you do find a card that resonates with you, Aquarius, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me because it does help out my channel a lot. And then finally, Aquarius, this reading here is just to give you some food for thought, something for you to think about as you go throughout your week. I'm not here to make a decision in your life. It's your life to live, not mine. So with all that being said, let's get into your reading with the overall energies this week for you, Aquarius. We have two different tarot cards and then the moon card. We will start with the Gibbous Moon, actually, or your, I guess your moon card. Spoiler alert, it's Gibbous Moon, Aquarius. Uh, this card says you are very close to achieving your goal. I mean, beautiful card to have for your overall energy. Hello? I don't really know if I need to... Um, go into too much i feel like this is kind of self-explanatory is it not <laughs> so uh let's get into your tarot side we have the two of wands and the seven of wands a lot of action happening this week for you because i always associate the wand with wands is like forward movement or movement in general uh aquarius it is also just a sense of um I didn't even finish that thought, did I? <laughs> Don't mind me, I've been fasting, Aquarius, I apologize. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of forward movement, a lot of action, I guess, this week is what I'll say. Because some of you, Aquarius, might feel like you're not going forward in life, right? So if I say just forward movement, you're probably just like... But I kind of... No, I'm going to stick to my guns, Aquarius. I am going to say you. it's forward movement just because you are very close to achieving your goals. You wouldn't be close to them if you weren't going forward, right? So, Two of Wands, Seven of Wands. Let's get into this. Two of Wands is letting me know of, um, dare I say, Aquarius, you, you've been getting in your head a little bit on things working out. You've been in this place where you're, it's like, no matter what it is that you do, it feels like the world is against you and everything's just working out, working in such a way that it just makes your life more difficult, right? It's maybe like you've just waken up woken up some days and you're just like what is going like what are you doing wrong like right that's probably the question that you're thinking is like what am i doing wrong like what is going on like why does it feel like the world is out to get me why does it just feel like everything that i do it just feels like anything wrong that could happen it happens right so i mean i am just gonna reference that moon card again <laughs> just because it's just like again like it does seem to be you're just like close to like almost at the end of the tunnel i guess if you feel like some of you guys have been going through a dark period aquarius um but with all that being said let's actually get into some tarot for you for this week now aquarius i'm going to go into your career side of things i'll pull some cards for your career then i'll pull some cards for your social interactions and then i'll get into just general messages for this week for you aquarius from your spirit guides angels whatever it is you subscribe to but let's start with your career see how this all correlates with your overall messages Ten of Pentacles comes out for you. I mean, that's really sturdy energy. This is really stable. This is definitely like a, having your cake and eating it too. This is definitely a celebratory card. This is all encompassing as well. Um, for some of you Aquariuses, I don't know. This is just coming to mind. I don't know if some of you guys are trying to have kids. Um, very <laughs> super random message i know this is for career but it does like with this ten of pentacles it does just address to me that your your people are taken care of your space is taken care of and i, I don't know i just can't help but just i just get a sense that some of you guys are like trying to have a kid <laughs> i don't know just a gut instinct, I guess, but let's get into some clarifiers with this. Overall, though, I like where this is going, right? 
Ten of Pentacles is that just extremely stable energy. Your 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 work environment is going to bring forth a lot of stability into your life. Wow. Okay, so again, I am going to just reinforce what I was saying before, Aquarius, just as a side message. I really do feel like for some of you guys that were trying to have a kid, I really just feel like you are. <laughs> um but uh enough of that. Let's get back focus back into the career of Elka. The clarifiers that I pulled for your Ten of Pentacles beautiful cards honey we have uh the star card coming out this star card is the card of wish fulfillment aquarius the star card is the representation of like weights being lifted off of you a very cleansing time where it's like probably like a sense of relief a lot of you aquarius has probably been having fear in regards to your finances just to make things make sure that things are taken care of perhaps me that's just what's been your main concern is just making sure you have enough to take care of what it is that you need to whether it's your family whether it's just like what have you i feel like there's just a sense of relief coming in this week of where it's just like things are starting to point in a very positive direction where it's like you're realizing you're not going to have to stress about that anymore you realize this because you're the magician right the magician card comes in where they are the master of their own reality right the magician acknowledges the master of all all things right they hold the cups they hold the wands they hold the sword like everything master of all elements right this is someone this is a go-getting energy so when you have this paired with the star card as well Aquarius I just want to say like <laughs> it's really like you really can't get too much of a better spread for your career um I just feel I just see you really I don't I will say with the magician card Aquarius this is more of a hands-on energy where you are coming into this right I don't see this as where just like random opportunity by chance i feel like this is something that you've been putting a lot of work into right especially with the ten of pentacles there that's like your main energy for career that's something that you've been putting a lot investing a lot of energy into to get to like the only way that you have this get to have this ten of pentacles moment is because of the work that you yourself put in to get to that point to take you the one that took yourself to point a to point b and then for your final clarifier for this row we have the ace of coins for you aquarius so i mean this is that i always say this is the blank check from the universe mm, excuse me aquarius i'm so sorry um this is that card where it's like they hand you a blank check and you get to decide aquarius how much you're gonna write that check for which makes sense because you're the magician the magician literally has no problem they're just like oh okay like you really sure about this let me just write all this down right i really just see things finally just working out for you and something i'm just getting things finally just starting to work out for you um it's almost just like you're dare i say you're finally starting to feel like it's an equal give and take like the effort that you put into your career and your finances you're you're starting to feel like you're finally getting that back in return and i kind of just get the sense of where it's going to come get that return you, the return is going to get higher and higher, especially with this case of coins, right? The Magician card, like, really doesn't settle for anything less. Like, you just have a lot of, for whatever, take it for whatever you will, <laughs> Aquarius, you have a lot of high vibrational cards coming in, a lot of high, high vibrational energy revolving around your career and your finances. So, really good spread there. I'm going to get into the social situation now for you, Aquarius. See what's going on there, what that is all about. See what insight we can get in regards to that. I don't know. Aquarius, just let me know in the comments below if you're trying to have a kid. That's something that um, I've never in the life of me in my readings ever mentioned, like pregnancy and all that stuff. I usually don't mess with that. But whenever i saw that ten of pentacles i just i don't know and i keep like <laughs> i just keep getting impressions of just kit and it's just i don't know so five of wands coming in for your social interaction now honey this is this is not the card you want to have for your social interactions if you're trying to have a kid because the five of wands is the card of <laughs> is the card of um conflict so unless you aquarius and your person are just having some hate sex <laughs> like um it's probably not happening right for for you but we're gonna just i'm done being crazy again don't mind me aquarius i've been fasting so i'm probably like a little bit loopy but um it's five of wands probably is more so just in regards to just like um bumps in the road um 
in regards to whatever your social situation is. Probably like a situation of where just something to deal with. I'm not getting a sense of where it's anything permanent, but let's get some clarifiers on this, see what's up going on with here. Regardless, I'm just getting this five of with this five of wands. Maybe even you yourself are just stressing over the dynamic of this person, right? That is something I'm getting. But let's pull some cards. Ten of Swords. Oh. Queen of Coins. Ten of Cups. Aquarius? What? What is going on, honey? So, with this Ten of Swords and this Five of Pen Wands, I'm just like, oh, like, this is the, this is what's happening, right? There's, like, you feel, um, I'm betrayed is it a dramatic word, but, like, someone hurt you, right? And that's what that conflict is. Normally, when I saw that Ten of Swords, I was just like, oh, honey, like, what is going on here? Um, but then we have the Queen of Coins and the not, I said Ten of Cups, but it's Nine of Cups, right? Queen of Coins and the Nine of Cups. So, hmm. I guess I would say it doesn't necessarily have to be a conflict of sorts. No, and I think it is. There is some type of pain, um, whether it's intentional or not, I don't know. Right, Aquarius? I guess that's where I'm, like, really struggling. It's because I don't, like, I was so resistant on, like, saying it's, like, a conflict just because it's, like, it doesn't feel like a malevolent thing, right? It doesn't feel like someone's trying to intentionally hurt you. Um, and maybe they're not even aware that you're hurt, something I'm getting. But it's because of this, whatever, whatever stresses, I guess, we'll just call it stresses in your social situation. There's the Ten of Cups, honey, now. Um, it's almost as if, like, it needed to happen. So let's just say you and your person, like, there's just, it's been tense for a while, right? It's been a lot of tense for whatever reason. And it's like, you guys finally just have like a little bit of a blow up, right? I don't even want to say blow up. You, this communication, um, maybe a little bit of hurt feelings at first initially, but I do feel, see this coming, like, either you come closer together with this person right with this queen of coins nine of cups and then ten of cups as well like ten of cups is that happy family life um or you kind of see it for what it is and you are like move on into a different direction in this, for yourself because the queen of coins queen of pentacles is like that tending to the self the queen of pentacles is all about um self-care essentially right and it's also a pretty um reclused energy it's, it's, mm, it's more i guess i would say like the queen of coins doesn't mind being alone because she enjoys her own company very much so um but we have this nine of uh, cups where it's like again nine of cups is in solo energy in the sense of where it's like you're discontent with yourself you're happy in your own company um your cups are filled like everything's kind of handled in your life but then we have the ten of cups here as well where it's talking about a happy family life and something I just want to point out again, honey, is kids. Kids are following you in this reading, Aquarius. <laughs> I want to def, I can't wait to have this reading up because I really want to know. Um, this is where it's throwing me off, Aquarius, because it's like, I don't know. I just get this sense of where Almost as if, like, you're too... Because I don't get a sense of finality with this, Aquarius. I get a sense of where it's just, like, this bump in the road, this conflict of swords, kind of just has you going in this place of um, self-discovery, almost. As weird as it's... We're taking a weird trip with this, Aquarius, but I just get this sense of where it's, like, this needed to happen. In whatever case that like whatever that outcome looks like for you Aquarius this needed to happen because it just brings forth so much happiness so I don't know if you get end up getting closer with this person right two tens talk about endings of cycles closing the cycles right and all these so many these cards especially it seems to be is where it's just like a I know probably any other tarot reader would see this but well besides the ten of cups but it would just be like you're moving on with yourself and you're just happy with yourself like you're almost like relieved to let go of this energy because it caused you pain it was just a lot of conflict but with this ten of cups energy this is where it changes the whole dynamic of this row aquarius because it's just like um 
it just brings you forth to just like so much like a family life so it does kind of show to me that it's like you guys come together in a sense so i don't and this is an interesting grow, Aquarius. I'm not really sure what to make of it. Regardless of whatever it is, you end up with a happy result. So even if you guys end up having conflict, I just see a happy result, at least for you. But I do just get the sense of where you still somehow, oddly enough, come closer with this person as well. Uh, we're getting into the overall messages now, Aquarius, uh, from your spirit guides and all of that, right? High Priestess card comes in. So uh, this is a card of listening to your intuition. This is, well, let's pull a couple more cards actually before we get too much into this because the cards can really uh, change the format for that high priestess. I guess these four cards. All right, let's look at this. Ace of Wands is the back of the deck energy, but I don't feel called to address that uh, for you, Aquarius. Instead, we have these four clarifiers for you. Eight of Cups. So, this is such a weird energy, Aquarius. It seems like, because it's Eight of Cups, you're moving on from something. And then with, when I see this, I'm like, aha, like you are moving on from somebody. But it seems like you're going, you're moving on from an energy to something else immediately. Like, there's not really, you're not getting a death card. You're not getting a uh, tower. There's no real transition. It's almost just like... This, some type of chapter is closed, whether that chapter is leaving somebody in that chapter or you're bringing them along in, into the new chapter. If you bring them into the new chapter, it's like starting anew almost, right? But with this hermit card coming in here, again, it just lets me know this sense it's like you thought about this for a while. Like, and especially with this high priestess as well, you thought about this for a while and that's why there's not, I'm not seeing any transitions. And that's why it's probably like even this row confused me so much because maybe it's more than one energy that was getting mingled in here, right? Maybe this is a separate energy Aquarius from these other cards, right? Where it's just like, maybe you dealt with like a energy that was weighing you down before that brought you pain and you finally realized it and you're just like, you know what? I'm choosing myself. You know, I'm choosing to surround myself with people that actually want me, right? That actually make me happy. And then Three of Cups comes in here where it does show to me like the energy that you already had in mind. And the Nine of Pentacles follows through with this as well, which is more about like the self-peace. It almost is just like you were sitting with something, you're dealing with, well, say dealing with somebody, Aquarius, for a long time now. You realized it wasn't really making you happy, but you just maybe didn't know how to close it off. Maybe you didn't know what to do with it. And it seems to be after this conflict happened with that Five of Wands and then that Ten of Swords, like how I'm doing this now, um... It was kind of like your exit way. It's just like, oh, this is releasing me, right? There's like the sense of release from this. And you're just like, oh, I can finally be happy. I can finally do uh, what makes me happy, right? Uh, and so it's just like this instant separation and be like, you know what? I've been always wanting to go to Disney World. I've been always wanting to like move to wherever. And now I can, right? I feel like it's kind of that energy. So it makes sense to why there's no transition and why there's so much happiness wrapped around that. Uh, these cards with pain because it's like you already had a game plan you kind of wanted that almost and it makes sense as to why again i wasn't getting like a malevolent thing because it's like you're not really taking it too hard right you're kind of like seeing how this is like for your betterment which is good uh but yeah aquarius and i guess now i guess it makes sense as to why you would have the ace of wands because it is that forward movement um but yeah, Aquarius, that's the reading that I have for you. Your reading definitely took me for a loop. I've never struggled so hard trying to comprehend uh, someone's cards before. <laughs> Crazy, but really, really fascinating. I really enjoyed this reading, Aquarius. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments if any of y'all are trying for a kid, honey, because kid was just so pronounced in this reading the first time for me. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Aquarius, and then also share this video with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. Till next time, though, Aquarius, I love you so much.